What's happening everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi. We are back at Rider Performance for another B9 upgrade. This time around, we're going to stage three plus from Integrated Engineering. We're gonna be upgrading the map sensors, we're gonna be upgrading the direct injectors, and we're going to be upgrading the high pressure fuel pump. That's all this video is gonna be, is simply the install. I'm gonna show you guys the parts one by one by one so you can see the little differences, where I got them from, and what we're gonna be using in today's install. Then we'll get Kyle to install the parts, and then I'm gonna tune the car, stage three plus. We're gonna be sticking with pump gas for this install. I wanna get out on the back roads of Mexico and do some data logging on pump gas before I ramp it up with the ethanol blends. Now you might be wondering why we're gonna be doing all of this and just go, go, go. It's because I really screwed up at the beginning of the season, to be completely frank. I am really late on this build. The drag season for 2022 is coming to an end, and I'm still not making as much power as I know this car can. So we're gonna be doing the injectors, the high pressure fuel pump, and the map sensors today so I can start running that E70 blend and max out this TTE 710 hybrid turbo as soon as humanly possible. There's a bunch more drag racing in September and a little bit left in October, and I hope to be able to go as fast as I possibly can with this setup, and I know that I need to get these parts installed ASAP in order for that to happen. So here are all the parts we're gonna be installing today. We have six direct injectors, we have two four bar map sensors, and we have a high pressure fuel pump from APR. So here are the direct injectors. These are the OEM injectors from the brand new RS7, and they swap with relative ease into this motor. The part number is written right on the injector there. I will also put it on the screen so you guys can see it. It is also located on Integrated Engineering's website. When you go to the Stage 3 Plus profile, you can see the different parts needed and they have the part number listed there. Next are the four bar map sensors. These look identical to the four bar map sensors that we use to upgrade my RS3. We picked these up from TTE. You can grab these directly from them and they will ship them out to you and these should be a relatively easy swap as well. Here's the final piece of the puzzle guys, APR's high pressure fuel pump. Yes, I said APR, I did not say IE. IE has a high pressure fuel pump coming to market but they don't have one now and I need this right freaking now. APR has one, they offer two different kinds, a rebuilt pump like this one or a brand new pump. I went with this one, it's a bit cheaper and it was available right now. The new pumps weren't in stock and I had to wait. And as I previously mentioned, I needed one right now. So this pump is from, I think it was a 2018 S5. I reached out to my boy George over at In Motion Auto. You can check him out on Instagram. He's helped me out with the RS3, with the B8, with his B9, and now with this. He sent the pump directly to APR for me and APR rebuilt it with all of their built internals. This pump can now flow 37% more fuel than the OEM pump. And I'm gonna need every single bit of that to use Integrated Engineering's E70 blend at this stage three plus level. So now you know the high pressure fuel pump I'm using, you know the four bar map sensors I'm using, and you know the new OEM RS7 injectors that I'm using. Let's get to this install and start making more power.
So that wraps up the install. Four bar map sensors from TTE. We have the APR high pressure fuel pump and we have those OEM RS7 direct injectors installed. Time to flash the car with integrated engineering's stage three plus 93 octane file and go do a data log and see how this car performs. I was currently using the Stage 3 TTE 710 on 93 octane, that's with no fueling upgrades. Now we're going to need to get the Stage 3 Plus stuff. So we're going to have to go into engine, we're going to drop down to the Stage 3 Plus TTE 710. Now I'm not just looking for Stage 3 Plus, I'm looking for Stage 3 Plus with RS injectors. And there it is, a 91 octane file as well as an E70 file. They're missing the 93 octane file, so I'm going to stick with 91 for now. It's going to cost me 200 additional credits, requires 91 octane fuel. The TTE 710, the upgraded high pressure fuel pump, four bar map sensors, a downpipe, an air intake and intercooler are highly recommended, as well as stage three transmission tuning, which I already have. So as you guys saw, there's only a 91 octane file available to me for some reason. It's late night here, so there's no way in hell I'm gonna get in contact with anyone from IE. So I flashed the 91 file, time for the very first start. It's gonna probably chug a little bit, trying to build up that fuel pressure, and then hopefully there's not fuel spraying everywhere and we did the install correctly, then I can get out there and data log. Car's running strong, no leaks, no spraying of fuel. Car didn't explode, we're good to go. IE only has the 91 octane available to me. I do want the 93 octane. That's what I thought I was gonna have tonight. So I'm gonna need to reach out to them tomorrow morning to get them to unlock that file. But in the meantime, I might as well get my logging done. So I'm gonna head out to the back roads of Mexico, get a couple logs to see how my car's running. I'll review those logs myself and then I'll send them to IE. Then when they unlock the 93 file in the morning, I'll load that one up and get logs of that as well. Make sure my car is healthy. And then immediately following that, once my fuel level has dropped enough, I will blend in E70 and I'll be making the maximum amount of horsepower and torque that this TTE 710 hybrid turbo can make on my B9S4. Then I'll get some logs of that and then immediately to the drag strip. For those of you that want dyno numbers and they wanna see the performance of a pump gas file on this car, I will dial it back after the drag racing season is done with. I'll also be putting all the interior back in the car as well. So I'll be able to get you guys full weight pump gas to numbers and draggy results with this setup once the drag racing season is over. But for now, I want maximum power, maximum torque, because I wanna see just how quick and how fast I can go in the quarter mile. So stay tuned for those videos to come. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.